Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When a customer agrees to make a purchase for which payment will be made at a later point in time, you enter that sale into an invoice. The invoice lists the customer's information along with an itemized list of how much that customer owes for the goods or services purchased. To create an invoice, select Customers from the menu bar and then choose the Create Invoices command. The particular invoice form that is used for the transaction can be changed by using the template drop-down in the upper right corner of the invoice form to select the desired type of invoice to use for the transaction. You enter customer information into sales forms by using the Customer Job drop-down to select a customer that you have entered into the customer list. Note that you can also enter information by simply typing the customer information into the Bill To and Ship To areas within the form. If you select a customer from the Customer Job drop-down, then their information will automatically populate the fields in the form. You may need to specify additional information if you manually enter customer data, such as selecting the desired terms from the Terms drop-down, for example. Now once you have entered the desired sales terms and other customer information into the form, make sure that you select the invoice date from the date field. At the bottom of the invoice, you list each item purchased on its own line by selecting a choice from the item column within the line item area. Now for each line item, you also specify the quantity and the amount that the customer owes for that item. In QuickBooks, you enter line items from entries made into the item list so that you won't have to repetitively type the names of services or products that you sell frequently. Note that items are not strictly limited to goods or services. You can also enter items like discounts, subtotals, or sales tax lines. Now if this invoice is to be printed later, ensure that the Print Later checkbox in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window is checked. Now when you are finished, click the Save and Close button to save the invoice. If you fill out an invoice, QuickBooks places a record for the invoice into the Accounts Receivable account. If creating a sales receipt, the amount received is typically placed into the Undeposited Funds account. You can see how much is within any one of these accounts by opening the Chart of Accounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.